Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. In today's video, I have another tag for you. This one is called the Mom Tag. Yes, this tag, I think it was started, I believe, sometime in uh, last year, 2019, but I saw it recently, and I saw it on the channel name This Housewife called This Housewife. I will have her channel linked in my description box so you guys can go take a look at her channel. So anyway, there are, how many questions? There are 15 questions to this tag and it's all about the mom, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, number one, favorite mom hack. I don't have a favorite mom hack. Um, I just do whatever works. Um, I don't I couldn't even tell you a hack really there's just there's so many of them I just do whatever works and whatever doesn't work I just don't do it so that's the only way I can answer that question number two most embarrassing mom moment oh my god <laughs> I didn't know if I wanted to tell this one but when my son was a little little baby he may have been about I'm not sure if he was two years old 18 months old we took him to a doctor and we were in the waiting room waiting for them to call him and all of a sudden I guess I know I I, I guess I was stinking okay <laughs> I don't know but my son he smelled me and he said real loud in front of everybody and there wasn't a whole lot of people in there but he said loud enough he said mommy stinks I was like Aaron, oh my God. I was so embarrassed. Oh my gosh. I just, I mean, I wanted to leave. <laughs> I really was. I mean, when he said mommy stinks, <sighs> oh, I just wanted to cover my head. You know, I really did. So I would have to say that was my most embarrassing moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh boy, that was something else. Okay, next question. Got my favorite specs on. Ha ha. Okay, what part of the day do you like the most? Um, the afternoon. I'm an afternoon girl all day, all night. Um, I do not like the morning. Don't like getting up early for nothing. And nighttime, I don't like because it's time to go to sleep and I don't like to get ready for sleep. I don't like it when it gets dark. So I love the afternoons because they're brighter and more cheerful and uh, that's when I like to do all that I need to do during the day. So the afternoon. Number four, what part of the day do you like the least? And I just answered that one. Um, I'm gonna say the morning. Yeah, cause I'm not a morning person and I can't stand getting up early or nothing. I hate it. Ooh. Number five, the worst thing that someone said to you when you were pregnant. Oh man, I didn't think about this one. I don't think anybody said anything bad to me. Nothing worse, nothing, you know, nothing on that on those lines. Number six, baby name or baby name. Oh, see, I need to put these on. Baby name you didn't agree with. Oh yeah. Uh, for my daughter, we didn't agree with her name. Her name is Angela. Um, the name that was picked out for her was Sasha, which is a very pretty name, but for some reason I like a name. So I was like, she's gonna be named Angela and that's all there is to it. <laughs> for Aaron, um, we didn't agree on, there was a name that I like, Al, because I have a cousin named Al and it's just A-L. Al, he didn't like that. Um, so we didn't agree on that and I also thought of Alan, A-L-A-L-L-E-N or A-L-A-N. Um, I think someone in my husband's family has that name and he didn't want to have to 
you know, copy. He thought it would be copying if he chose that name. So we didn't agree with that one, but we came up with Aaron and Aaron it is. So we're happy with that. And I like his name. I like both of my children's names, Angela and Aaron. Seven, did you or do you co-sleep? No, no co-sleeping here it is whenever I need to take a nap, I take a nap. Whenever he needs to take a nap, he takes a nap. Don't take a nap at the same time, unless we're on vacation, you know, somewhere like that. But Number eight, something you bought but never used. Hmm, oh gosh, that could be a lot of things. I don't, I'm pretty sure there's things that I have bought and never used. I'm pretty sure I, there is one thing, but I, I'm sorry, I can't even think of it. I don't know what it is. I should have thought of that one and put down the answer on my paper. Number nine, three hospital bag must-haves. Okay, yes, there are a lot of them, but I'm gonna say the ones that I think. You must have your own house slippers because I can't stand wearing I mean, they're, they're hospitals, uh, slippers, little socks they give you, those are nice, but you know, you wanna have something a little more stable on your feet and something flat, so I like house slippers. That's the first one. Um, you must have your own toothbrush and your soap, and you gotta have a little makeup, whether it's eyeliner, some lipstick, lip gloss, you gotta have something, because when I had, when I had Aaron, I had my makeup with me, yes I did, and I was so conscientious of looking decent when family came in, so I had to have my makeup. Number 10, are you a routine mom or a go with the flow mom? And does bedtime, and what does bedtime look for you? or what does bedtime look like. Um, I'm pretty much a routine mom, but I can loosen up and go with the flow, and oftentimes I do go with the flow. But for the most part, I'm a routine person. I think uh, sticking to a schedule for kids, teenagers, whatever, is very important. Uh, it helps to keep a balance in their daily activities and their lives and just the whole household. And what does bedtime look like? Um, well, my son is a teenager, almost grown now. Um, but when he and my daughter was small, um, yeah, I would have a particular time. Had to go to bed, uh, especially on school days. Um, 8, 8.30 was bedtime. Um, with my son being a teen now, he goes to bed at 9. So, and that's good for him because he has to get get up super duper early. So he goes to bed, I mean, he does what he has to do, take the inhaler and go to bed. And me and my husband, we have a program that we like to watch at night um, that we tape. And we like to watch it at that time when he goes to bed. So we watch that. And then after that, it's time for me to go into the bedroom and I will turn on the TV and get myself ready and watch my favorite programs. For me, um, I always, and my husband and my son, they always kind of tease me and laugh at me about it because I like to put my gown on really early. When I get home, I put my gown on. Now, not all the time. Sometime I will leave it on until you know the sun starts to go down but for the most part honey I get home and the first thing that goes off are my shoes because I can't stand wearing shoes in the house I don't like shoes we have a no shoe on on carpet policy so we don't wear shoes in the house and I'm constantly struggling with Aaron on that you know because teams think they can do what they want to do oh number 11 what type of labor did you have what pain relief did you choose okay for angela i had a vaginal delivery and yes i had what is it pitocin whatever they give you yes i told them hurry up 
I mean, I was begging them, can you hurry, please, please. So it's whatever they gave me to take, the, take away the pain. Uh, for Aaron, I delivered by C-section. Um, when I was going, th before they decided that I needed a C-section, I was going through the labor pains, and the second child, was, um, they say the pain is not as bad, and it's true, it wasn't as bad. I could take it better because I was stronger, I guess. But um, at a certain point, they were getting stronger and stronger, and I was just like, I gotta give in, I can't take it. I said to the nurse, can I have some, some medicine now? She goes, you ready? I said, yes, please. Whew. I was like, I can't take it anymore. I have had enough, I'm tired of suffering. And then after so long, um, I guess I didn't dilate. I dilated, but I didn't go all the way up to 10. I kept fluctuating between six and seven and nothing was happening and the water bag was already broken long gone ago and um, the water bag was already broken um, already a while ago so they decided it was best to have a c-section so it's whatever they gave me um, you know anesthesia wise so that I wouldn't feel the cut and then after that, they put me to sleep. I'm like, why you put me to sleep? I guess so I wouldn't feel the pain. But there were some mothers who had C-sections and they were awake, you know, when their family came in to see them. So I was kind of disappointed that I was put to sleep and I, I could not be awake. Although I did wake up when they came to me, we were all in, surrounded in a room and I would look over to the side and see different family members holding Aaron and, um, I just couldn't stay awake, so I was kind of disappointed about that. Number 12, have you ever been mom shamed? I'm not even sure what that means, mom shamed. Um, if it's what I think it is, I'm gonna say yes, I have. I have been mom shamed. Um, but I'm not gonna go into how, because the question doesn't say to share it, so. I know you guys will probably say, share it. <laughs> um, no, nah, I'm not going to share it. <laughs> I'm just going to answer it. Yes, I have. <laughs> Sorry. 13, the biggest challenges you've faced, you've faced since becoming a mom. Woo. <clears throat> I have faced lots of challenges. Um, one in particular, I would have to say, um, not exercising enough patience. Because as a mom, you have to be very patient, and that's where I lack. <laughs> I lack in, I, I really do. Uh, when your patience is tested, it's like, ugh, you know. Um, oh yeah, here's another one. Being consistent with whatever way you decide to discipline your children I haven't always been um, good in that area you know sometimes I would do well not to say I never disciplined my children yes I did oh yeah I whipped their butts and I'm not afraid to say it <laughs> I did but there was certain times I would lack and not do it at a time that they needed it so that's um, that would that would be another big challenge just trying to be strong, you know, when sometimes teams get a little mouthy and you gotta you gotta deal with that, you know. And you have to be consistent with dealing with that and not letting them get too far out of hand with that, you know. But we're not having that up in here. <laughs> Number 14, the best advice you've ever given. The best advice you've ever given and biggest piece of advice you'd give to a new mom. And trust your instincts, because this is pertaining mom, so uh, trust your instincts. Whatever you feel inside your heart, go for that. That's, you know, what they call the mother intuition. With me, I call it being led by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives us the unction inside of, of us letting us know so it's kind of like similar similar same thing but just trust your instincts guys when something doesn't seem right chances are it's not 
it is not so trust your instincts and the, the biggest piece of advice I would give to a new mother be patient being a good mother it takes a lot of work being a good parent takes a lot of work um, you have to be patient that's one of the things that I said in my previous question that I, I struggle and sometimes still struggle with. So my best advice to a new mom would be to um, learn patience some kind of way, whether you um, read books on it, listen to tapes, get some advice from older, older moms who are like grandmothers, great grandmothers, you know. All right, and we are just about done. Number 15, last question. Who is your mom crush and who do you tag? Claire Huxtable, yes indeed. She would be my mom crush, Claire Huxtable from The Cosby Show. Cause Felicia didn't take no mess and I'm kinda like that too. My son would often say, you remind me of uh, Claire Hux Huxtable sometimes. He tells me that. I'm like, well, hey, I don't take any mess. I mean what I mean. I say what I mean, and I expect you to do what I say. Simple as that. So I I'm a little like her. You know, I won't say identical, but a little. Okay, and who am I going to tag? If you're a mom, whether you have raised your children already or you're a young mother, older mother, whatever. If you are mom, you are tagged. So I'm tagging everybody, okay? All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed. Please give me a big thumbs up if you have. Please comment down below and let me know what you think. And if you're gonna do this tag, I would love to hear your answer. So type it down in the comment section and let me know, okay? Thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you later. Have a blessed day. Bye.